A Denver dog owner says he was duped. He says his dog was bitten by a pit bull. He says that dog's owner offered to help and then took off. Our Tori Mason live at the Rail Yard Dog Park in Denver. Tori, the victim thinks he knows why. Definitely, Jim. The sign outside doesn't say if any breeds aren't allowed inside the dog park. However, the breed that reportedly bit the Fox Red Lab here yesterday is already banned from the whole city. Go get your ball. Go get your ball. Derek is a good boy. Sit. He obeys the rules, always has a leash, and plays well with others. It's no wonder his dog. Wait, where's your ball? Is a good boy, too. He always thinks he's the smallest dog out there, even though he's... 82 pounds of love. Derek and Wade took their daily trip to Rail Yard Dog Park. He's always very, very friendly, always wants to play. But a dog they've never seen had other plans. This dog comes and latches onto the back of Wade's neck and is, has a firm grab on his neck for about a minute to a minute and a half. And Wade has the puncture wound to prove it. Derek made sure to get the owner's contact information. Um, I gave him a text and he never responded. So I called him a few times later that night. Never got any res uh, response from him again. So I'm pretty sure he gave me the wrong information. Likely because the owner knows about Denver's 20 year long pit bull ban. In this situation, I don't like to play with the dog. Dogs are unpredictable. Unfortunately, so are their owners. He just took off. Derek knows the reputation pit bulls have. He's just disappointed its owner didn't help it. If the owners know your dog can be aggressive, don't take him to a dog park. <clears throat> now, I misspoke. That ordinance actually went into place in 1989. Now, luckily, Wade has all of his shots, and the vet put him on some antibiotics just to be sure. Now, reporting a pit bull in Denver is not a death sentence for that dog. The city will make the owner relocate the dog to another city that doesn't have a breed restriction ordinance. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado first. Good information. Thank